Got something special for you guys today. Got a 1965 Fender Stratocaster in its original Lake Placid Blue. This thing is pretty, pretty much all original. Uh, so the nut has been replaced on it. The frets have been replaced uh, with some vintage, vintage wire frets. The, uh, the input jack has been replaced. Uh, the plastic back plate on the back has been replaced. And the shaft to the tone pot has been replaced. Everything else on the guitar though is uh, totally all original. Um, the, the guitar sounds and plays amazing. Uh, the Lake Placid Blue, uh, the clear coat on top of it uh, has, what it is, the clear coat yellows a little bit, giving the blue a uh, turquoise feel to it. Let's check out the back of that real quick so you can see what, you can see where the, where like the clear coat has rubbed through and, and you, can, you can really see the blue. Um, that's a pretty cool feature on some of these old, old uh, DuPont colors. Uh, let's hear it. Let's hear it through the vibroverb first. Right on. All right. Pretty much on fives, you know. Yeah. Thereabouts. Neck pickup. That's about four on the volume. Check it out through the the JMP 212 combo. I believe this is a 78. Um, off the top of my head, I don't know if the combo is like a 20. I feel like it's not a 22 or three, but we'll call it a JMP 22 or three combo. It's the it's basically the combo version, the 212 combo of the 22 or three. It's probably like a 22. I don't know. It's something. It's a JMP 212 combo with vertical inputs. But uh, you guys are here for the Strat, so let's hear it through the Strat. Yeah, starting on four. somewhere around this key right there There she goes in the case the case you know it's probably give it an eight and a half out of ten it's got a little bit of wear on it but for what it is man it's really really clean uh the guitar is pretty dang clean also 
but it looks nice, man. We'll just get a little bit of action on that in the case. All the latches are intact on the case. Let's, hey guy, can I have you pull that guitar out of there? And then I'll, uh, I'll get this little guy shut. We'll see the top of that case. You got a little bit of damage to the logo, which I mean, of course, <laughs> this thing's older than I am and it's, it's uh, still in decent shape. Yeah, it looks like that case is right there. Let's check out all these latches too. Check this out. Yeah, latches still works great. It's pretty rare to have these things actually work. <laughs> Handle. You know, I always carry these things uh, like you kind of bear hug them. You know, I don't carry them by the handle, but it's still intact. So bottom of the case, man, looks pretty good. We'll check out the rest of the guitar. All right, now that you've heard it, let's see it up close. Here's our 65 Strat in like placid blue. Um, as I said before, everything's original on it with exception to the nut has been replaced. The frets have been replaced with the vintage style frets. Uh, one shaft to a tone pot has been replaced and the input jack has been replaced. And then the uh, back plate, the little plastic back plate in the back has uh, been replaced. Uh, overall though, I mean, this is a really great example of a 65 Strat in a custom color. You don't see these come up for sale for very often. Let's get up close. All right. And you can see just your dings and your light scratches. And you can see in spots where the screws are kind of pulling on the guard because uh, the guard has off gas and, and shrank, which is pretty normal. Um, you can see up close, a little bit of finish wear right there. And it's hard to see in this video, for me looking at the screen, this looks a little bit more blue than it does in real life. In real life, it looks slightly more turquoise. So, um, and that happens because the clear coat yellows over time, uh, causing it to, you know, look a little bit more turquoise. But uh, all your typical wear on, you know, these guitars, just scratches, dings. I mean, it's from 65, so. It's what you would expect, but let's get up close so you can see. Smells old. <laughs> Doesn't smell bad. It just has that vintage, vintage smell to it. A bit of finish checking. Dings. Gorgeous Brazilian rosewood board. Look at that green. That's just ridiculous. Like I said, the frets have been replaced, but um, they are perfect. Let's get up close and pull those strings apart so you can see. Yeah, the frets are great. Nut has been replaced. Headstock's nice and clean, the decals are all original. And let's kind of get in that neck pocket area so that you can, you can see down there. Neck pockets look clean. They're chipping around there, but I mean, there's no, there's no stress crack or anything like that that you normally see on a lot of these. Alrighty, I'll go ahead and flip this over for you. Let's get a close up on those tuners. Back of the headstock looks nice and clean, no breaks. And just some little dings and scratches on the back of that neck. The neck feels amazing on this thing I, there, in my opinion there's nothing that beats a f vintage fender neck just the way the maple's worn in 
feels amazing. Let's get in on that serial number so you can see. Looks like L85257. Looks like the plate has been pushed in a little bit. That happens. That's just from over tightening. And we've got a pretty pretty decent ding right there. Hey, it's from 65. So I'll get on there. Just some light scratches. And there's where the clear coat has rubbed through. Um, that's why it looks like really blues because there's no yellow. There's no yellowed clear coat. And then I think that's the primer underneath of it. But dings, all that stuff. And there's your replaced back plate. It, just a little plastic. It looks like it might have been replaced quite a while ago because it, even it has kind of yellowed a little bit and looks old. But it's not original. Yeah, you can kind of see that turquoise what I'm talking about right there. If I angle it at, at that, it looks it's starting to look a little bit more turquoise. That's what it looks like. There you have it. I mean, overall, really, really nice example of a 65 Strat in Lake Placid Blue. These are getting harder and harder to find. All right, now we're gonna take it over and do a black light video of it, just cause with as valuable as this thing is, why not? <laughs> All right, here's our 65 Strat in Lake Placid Blue. We're taking the black light on it. Uh, let's get that. Why don't you shine that just a little bit closer? Yeah. Okay, that's perfect. I mean, the top on this looks it looks clean. But there's a few scratches on the side. Oh yeah, there's some scratches. Let's get the top of the head socket with you. Alright, let's flip it over. Look at the back of it right here. Yep. You can obviously see the finish wear. What's the finish wear? Right it's where it's just kind of worn on the finish, right in that little spot right there. Yep. yep. Yeah, it looks good. No weird inconsistencies. I mean, you're just seeing the dings like you've been seeing, but, but it's all there. Can you shine that up high, Olivia? Mm -hmm. Let's get that down low again. Mm -hmm. It's precisely the best guitar that you could buy at Guitar Chimp.